in 2013, Caterpillar shipped about 12 billion pounds of parts and, and prime product outbound. And so the key is how do we effectively design and execute what we call an engineered network that allows us to put all the pieces together to provide the right cost structure, the right velocity, the right resiliency and, and reliability into that kind of network. If you take a 793 as an example, we actually start the process about 90 days ahead of when the machine's actually ready to ship from a facility. It takes seven to nine trucks to deliver a 793 over the highway. If you're shipping internationally, the ocean carriers and ocean providers. And think about it a minute. You know, if I walked into a, an international airport and missed my flight, I can probably catch the next flight. If I miss a sailing, I've delayed the process anywhere from seven to 30 days. What's the right port strategy? What are the right sailing strategies? What's the right capacity you need? Whether it's I'm moving it by across the road with trucks, if I'm moving it on rail, or I'm moving it across the ocean. Having engineered that network so I get those right port strategies, that right sailing frequency becomes very, very critical. It's very important that we have a great collaboration with the dealers to not only provide the lowest cost, but again, that high reliable service that they know they're gonna get the product when they expect it. Being able to do that with information, data, intelligence into an engineered network, again, allows us to command the scale that Caterpillar has in, in what we call the high and heavy sector of the transportation world. And um, it, it allows us to differentiate ourselves, I think, uh, on, uh, against our competition.